In this video, we're going to look at using Excel's t-test to test a real world business problem. A business has run a marketing campaign and they want to establish if their marketing campaign was successful or not. So they've gathered their sales for the days before the campaign and the days during the campaign. And then we've calculated the average sales for each day for the week pre and during the marketing campaign. And we want to see if this average has happened by chance or not by chance. Now the t-test is a test used to test for statistically significant differences between the mean. And you should have read the article on this before you've moved on with this video. So if you've missed this article, please do go back and read it. If you're watching this on YouTube, there is a link to the article below the video. And I'm going to go through the t-test and the f-test quite quickly without really explaining what's going on. So do check out the article first. So I mentioned the t-test is a test for statistically significant differences. And it allows you to set up a hypothesis test. So you can set up a hypothesis where the difference between the mean of the pre and post marketing sales is unlikely to have happened by chance. And this would be a successful campaign. Whereas the alternative hypothesis would be an unsuccessful campaign because the difference is likely to have just happened by chance. Now the t-test will return a p-value and the p-value is the probability of whether or not it happened by chance. To accept the alternative hypothesis we would have to have a p-value of less than 0 0.05 and to accept the hypothesis we would have to have a p-value of greater than 0.5. Now to carry out the t-test let me just bring up our t-test here. We first need an array, a second array, the tails and the type. The array one and array two are the data sets, the, the sample data that you're going to take. The tails are whether you have a one-tailed test or a two-tailed test. Now a one-tailed test is where you only have an increase or decrease in observations between tests. And a two-tailed test is where you'd find both an increase and a de decrease in observations between tests. Now we can see up here there are both increases and decreases between these tests. And what you could do is take one away from the other and establish if you have both pluses and minuses. If you have both pluses and minuses, it's a two-tailed test. If you only have a plus, it's a one-tailed test. Or if you only have a minus, it's a one-tailed test. So we have a two-tailed test because there are both increases and decreases in the observations between the tests. After this, we then need the type. Now the type you can pick from three things. You can pick between paired, and a paired is where you use the same sample for both observations. You can also have a variance where the two populations are equal or a variance where the two populations are not equal. And to work this out, we need to use Excel's F-test. So that's what we're going to calculate first. Now the F-test will test for equal variances and we can set up the following hypothesis. We can have the hypothesis that the variance of the two populations are equal, or we can have an alternative hypothesis that the variance of the two populations are not equal. Now the F-test, and we'll just bring it up here, F.test, and it looks for an array one, which is our pre-marketing sales, and array two, which is our during our marketing sales. And we get 0.59. Now that's a two-tailed test. If you have a one-tailed test, you would take one minus the two-tailed test. So do we accept or reject the hypothesis in this case? Well, we know we have a two-tailed test and 0.59 is greater than 0.05. So we accept the hypothesis that we have the variance of two populations are equal. Now, this is important as we've seen for our t-test. So we can now go ahead and plug in our values to our t-test. So the first thing is our array one. Our second is our array two, which is our second lot of observations. 
Then our tails, now we know we have a two-tailed test in this case. And then it's looking for the type paired, two samples of equal variance or two samples of unequal variance. And we know it is of equal variance because we have accepted the hypothesis, the null hypothesis above. So now we can close the bracket and hit enter. We see we have 0.177. And this is our p-value, our probability that the, the difference is likely or unlikely to have happened by chance. And our null hypothesis we will accept if it's greater than 0 0.05, which it is. So in this case, we can say we have a successful campaign, that the increase in the difference between the means is very unlikely to have happened by chance and has happened by an external force, such as the marketing campaign. So we can classify this marketing campaign as a success. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press like and subscribe. Do go ahead and hop over to the Excel Club blog and sign up for the newsletter. Don't forget also to sign up for a Steam account so you can get involved in the engagement on the post and earn rewards in the Steam token for your contributions to the blog posts. Thank you very much and goodbye now.